see what we've got. This little thing is one of my favorite accessories for camera trap photography. It's called the Exfer Axe. And what it is, is an in-field backup device. And it is super useful for when I'm servicing my camera traps. I simply take the memory card, plug it in, and I can incrementally back up that card. So it means I don't have to take cards away with me, bring back fresh ones and keep track of cards that way. I can back them up the moment I take them out of the camera. And because it's an incremental backup, it will just save the newest files. And then I can put it back in to keep running or format it if I, if I want to start fresh. Ooh, and it's got great battery life as well. I've backed up thousands of photos on a single charge and never even got close to being empty. You actually use your own 2.5 inch hard drive in it. So you can pretty much get any 2.5 inch drive slotted in. And so in here, I've got a two terabyte SSD, which is very fast. It downloads photos about 140 megabytes per second. So it doesn't take me long to back up the photos and then eject the card. Done. On to the next camera. So the last camera had an SD card. This one's a compact flash card. But this handy little device has a slot for both types. So let's back this one up now. The third slot on this side can either be an XQD card reader or a CFast card reader. And that's really handy because it actually means I don't need to carry a separate card reader dongle for those cards. And you can even plug in another drive into this USB slot up here and back up to the internal drive in here and the external drive at the same time as long as you plug this into a power supply because it doesn't have enough power to power two drives. It's got an OK screen and you can use that to browse pictures if you want. If you're not traveling with a laptop, that's obviously quite useful. Although I generally will just plug it into a laptop. And the way you do that is it's got a USB 3 socket here, which you connect to the laptop and then the laptop just sees this as an external drive. So the one downside of it is the cost. For what it is, I do feel it's a bit pricey, especially as the drive is not included but it fits into my workflow so well and it's so handy as this sort of mobile backup solution that for me the cost is worth it and I think if you're a photographer that travels a lot and doesn't like to always bring a laptop for backing up cards then something like this is pretty handy. Okay, that one's done. Okay, let's look at these on the computer. Okay, those are importing. And because it's that SSD drive with a USB 3 connection, it's actually pretty quick to read. I do wish it was a Thunderbolt connection, but I guess I can live with USB 3. Okay, they're finished importing. Let's see what I've got. Oh, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Now I'm supposed to be keeping these under wraps until my next book is ready, but Given you've watched to this point, I'll give you a sneak preview. Have a look at this. What a spectacular animal. So happy with that. And as for this device, well, as I said, it's one of my favorite accessories. And in fact, I like these so much for camera trapping 